OK, so I'm going to show you how to make your letters look like they're appearing or disappearing. So like the script is going to look like it's being um, written or drawn. Um, so to do that, I just file and imported my um, SVG onto the page. Now, I originally did this and the font didn't carry over because I had downloaded a font from Defont and I don't have it on this computer. So to resolve that in Illustrator, I just clicked on my word and created outlines, right clicked and went to create outlines so that it was no longer a font. It was like a path. So I saved it as, as an SVG and I put it on the page here. So if you run into issues, you you know you might have to do a little problem solving, but I just didn't have the font in this computer so that it was giving me some issues. But anyway, um, to do this, it's super easy. You have it on your page. Um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna select this and we're gonna go to modify and you have to go to break apart. Now you have to do it twice because some of them are dotted. That's what we want, this little, Dotter, dotted pattern. We want the whole thing to look like that. So usually you have to do it twice. And that's this is what we want here. So to do that, you we're going to go down and add a keyframe and use the eraser tool and start to erase a little at a time. I'm going to go from right to left. Once I start using the eraser over here, this pops up and you can do like the size of the eraser and change it. But I'm going to just keep clicking frame by frame, it's kind of tedious, adding a keyframe, erasing. I'm going to do, you can do it in much smaller increments if you prefer, but don't forget to click the add a keyframe button. Add a keyframe. And like you could do this a little more neatly too, like as a letter would be drawn. I'm just going to do a few letters at a time. Okay. Click add a keyframe. This is going to be pretty fast. So you could choose to erase it in the way that you'd write it. I'm kind of making it a little more, just speeding it up here. So maybe letter by letter, and hopefully it will end up looking. You could like have the T's, the stems of the T's erase before the crossbars, but that seems like a bit much for this. Let's see another. I'm recording the video. <laughs> okay. Now, when I press play, you can see it starts to partially erase. And then I sometimes need to, I'm going to do a little, a few more just to get that. Just so you get the gist, a little more, one more. Okay, one more here, Sarah. Okay, and then one more. Okay. So now we go back and it looks pretty good. Um, so it is playing backwards, but what you can do is right click and we just need to select all the all of these. So let me see if I can grab all those. Right click and we should be able to reverse the frames. So now, Oops, I think I messed that up. <laughs> I just control Z if something weird happens. In the world. Okay, something is being weird. They're here. Perfect. There's a reason why I did it from back to starting from the right to the left. Um, because otherwise, if I went this way, the word just disappears. I wanted it to like up here, but I have to go in and grab all of these. And for some reason, when I do that, oh, I was going to remove frames. I need to reverse them. Ah, okay, I knew something wasn't right. There we go. And if you want that to go slower, you can always reduce the frame rate and have it go a little slower. Let me select this, I think. So that's for 15. Um, or you could make it go like more seconds. So let me grab this. If I hold shift, let's see what it does. Yeah, it's stretched. If they're all highlighted, it'll then held control, held shift to select them all, held control to drag them. And now it goes a little slower. But it's a little jumpier, you know, when you do that. So kind of up to you. Shift, shift. Control, 
smush it back in. I want to make sure they're all highlighted before I do that. It's very clunky. Meh. Just control Z if you make a mistake. So I'm grabbing all of these. There we go. 